Hey everybody, this is a sample problem. I wanted to go over question 15.41 in Brown Lamy Burston. Um, and this has to do with the uh, with Q, the reaction quotient. And let's take a look. So I've taken that question and I've copied it over into my notebook. And so you can see it here. Now, I would always recommend that you take a moment and try to answer this question by pausing the video and then watching me go through the answer. Um, that's the easiest and best way to learn from a video like this. Okay, so let's let's get started. It says here, um, if Q is great is less than K, which direction will the reaction proceed? So uh, let's write this like this. When we have um, Q and K, we want to have reactants and reactants always react to form products, okay? And also let's keep in mind that, um, that the equilibrium constant in Q is products, products over reactants, okay? So if Q is less than K, actually the funny thing is, is that um, what condition must be satisfied so that Q is equal to, K here, um, that means that the reaction has to be at equilibrium. The The condition that must be satisfied is that the reaction must be at equilibrium. So <laughs> we have to answer question B kind of before we answer question A. Um, but so because it, in order to get this at equilibrium, if Q is less than K, that means Q has, um, has to increase, right? So how are we going to get Q, which is written as a ratio of the products to reactants, how are we going to get that, that value to increase? Well, the way we do that mathematically is by increasing the products, okay? And so because the only way we're going to make products is by having the reactants make the products, that means that the, the reactants goes down. Okay, so the only way we can get Q to get bigger is for the products to go up and the reactants to go down. So when that happens, that means the reaction has to um, has to shift toward the products. We have to make more products, so the reactants is, are going to um, proceed toward the products there. Okay, so part A says the reaction will proceed. You could say to you could say to the right. You could say toward the toward the products, whichever way, but in order to reach equilibrium, that's what has to happen. Okay, so that is um, the answers to both of those uh, questions. Uh, have a great day.